Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution The Missing Link. Last time we had a fairly short video in which we tackled the Restricted Wing, met with Dr. Kavanaugh, and basically got her to turn on Bell Tower. She's going to come out with the evidence that Interpol needs to shut Rifleman Bank Station down. Let's continue from there. Chapter 5, Burden of Proof. Determined to find evidence of Burke's inhumane experiments, Jensen ventured to the depths of Rifleman Bank Station. There he found Dr. Tiffany Cavanaugh, a researcher forced to work with Burke, who told him that Burke... Dot, dot, dot. Be right back. was attempting to perfect a human-computer hybrid called the OCM. She agreed to provide... dot dot dot... Concrete evidence to Interpol if Jensen got her safely off the base. I'm sure you can imagine things are not going to go smoothly, but let's hit the elevator button to head back up. Keitner, contact Interpol. We need rendezvous coordinates for a deep sea submersible. A what? What exactly have you found, Jensen? A research complex hidden beneath this base. One of its staff is willing to turn whistleblower if we can deliver her to Interpol using one of the lab's transport subs. Which explains why you need the coordinates. I'll see what I can do. Keitner out. Dun dun dun. Keitner, what the hell's going on? The elevator stopped. Bert must have intercepted our comms. Get the hell out of there, Jensen. I'll meet you. Emergency ladder. So hop onto the emergency ladder. There are only three dudes in this particular segment. This will be another fairly short video. It's Friday night and I got things to do that aren't playing video games, but I do want to do this. Just really quick, because this is when the missing link finally gets exciting. Too bad the DLC is almost over. Hey, there's a metal crate. I've wanted one of those forever. Not that it doesn't mean any good now. <laughs> so you just gotta gotta keep hopping up the elevator shaft. Nope. Okay. All of this is no problem. You can see there's the elevator door, and you can see that there are three guys staring at it, waiting for me to emerge. Now, I want to get up there. I probably need to bring that metal crate up here to do it. And even then I won't I'm not certain if it'll be possible or not. That ladder's just heading down. This goes out into the morgue. Sarge, what if it's someone from the science team? Expendable. And 
likely compromised. Do not take this man lightly, soldier. He has infiltrated a high security bell tower base. Do not let the low casualty count fool you. It only means he's more resourceful and more dangerous. Always had help from the inside. Enough yapping. If he comes up here, we'll get our shot at him. Then we'll see about any help he may have had. Alright. <clears throat> I don't know if I can get back to the elevator shaft. That's my worry, so I'm not going to do any more... I'm going to try not to do any more quick saving. Anyway, in here we have a gas grenade and an EMP grenade, for those of you who aren't doing Factory Zero. This drops us in right behind everybody. There they are. Let's make a noise. That ain't gonna cut it. I need to throw something. I don't really want to. But I guess I have to, so... Let me see. Here's a cardboard box. Well... I might need that cardboard box for stacking and such. Footsteps. Over there! Damn. Well. Uh, and then I forget that I can't run. Goodness gracious. Come on. I heard that. Come out. There. These three are all we have to deal with before the map change. That's the good news. Down goes the first. He carries a Cyberboost Pro Energy Bar. Not that I particularly need them. It's not like I've been using my augments. And he's got a, that one dropped a combat rifle. Well, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get back in the elevator or not, but I do know that the one metal crate in there was not enough to reach it, so you may very well not be able to get up there in a Factory Zero playthrough. So I'll just tell you, if you get to that area up on the top, you will get a 300 XP exploration bonus, and there is also the 15th, the second to last, Praxis Kit. Anyway... Try and pull another. Son of a bitch! It's oh goodness! How did they not hear the jump, but then did hear the footsteps? Who knows? I heard that. Come out. All right. I do not have a confirmation yet. Hostile in the area. Keep searching. Make him pay. What in the world was that? I have to admit, I don't know. All right, well, let's move this guy a little farther away. Let's leave him somewhere where I know they won't spot him. Like the archives room. See, there's plenty of stack... There are, uh, rather, plenty of stackables out here, but I don't know if I can get them into the elevator shaft in the way I would need to to reach the hidden area. Footsteps. Converge on target. Whoa. I really thought that one was going to work, too. Too bad I can't just fire a gun, but that'll blow factory zero. Oh, 
wonder. May nah, they're t they're they're too close to each other. I can tell. Hey, an ammo case I never spotted. Two stun gun darts, five revolver bullets. There you go. I heard that. Come out. All right, if they're both going to come investigate, which is odd behavior. They never did that in the main game unless they had actually seen me, but... I don't like this situation. Better stay away. Okay, it's obvious that it's going to be tough for me to pull just one of them. Maybe I can just take one down. Let's see. Didn't think so. That was a long shot. What I need to do is pull just one of them back, which is undoubtedly going to be difficult to do, but maybe it's possible. I heard that. Come out. Perfect. I do not have a confirmation yet. Hostile in the area. Keep searching. All right, Brozef, down you go. Bam. I friggin' love it. He dropped a combat rifle, same as the first guy. And he carries some painkillers. All right, let's wait for the energy cell to recharge, then we'll bag the third one. I mean, you can't get through a mission in this game without one of these high alert sections. The one thing about the missing link that gets really high praise from me that isn't this just basically more of the main game with without really adding anything is the ending encounter. Peter Burke, he's kind of like a boss fight, but it's executed so much better than any of the boss fights in the main game. More on that when we get to it. Let's drop the third guy. Down he goes. He dropped a combat rifle. He carries ten pistol bullets. Seems odd, but whatever. Yeah, we can't open that again. I don't think we can get back to the shaft either. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to do a permasave down here. And... Then I'm going to load the autosave just so I can experiment with whether or not it's possible to get to the top of the elevator shaft. Because, I mean, it's obvious there's no way back in from here. So... If I'm going to make it up there, I have to do it from in here. And I don't want to misinform you and say that it's not possible in a Factory Zero playthrough if it is. This crate is the only object I've seen. What's going on over there? Ha! Ah, and one of them heard it. Hearing source of disturbance. Awesome. What's going on over there? All right. Hearing source of disturbance. All right, we got the crate to here. Can we get it up there? What's going on over there? See, I'm not even sure if I can do that. Hearing source of disturbance. We know here. Keep What's going on over there? Hearing source of disturbance. We know Hearing source of disturbance. We know someone's here. Keep looking. And we gotta get the crate up to the top and then gotta well, I don't really care because it's not like I'm gonna use the Praxis kit or the XP, but we'll see if the crate is sufficient. Alright, got a quick load. 
We'll see if the crate is sufficient to get the Praxis Kid at the top of the shaft or not. If not, just know that if you get the jump What's enhancement... Well, shoot, there may not... I may not be able to get the crate up there anyway. I guess that's... I guess that's issue one, isn't it? What's going on over there? Come on. Alright. Hearing source of disturbance. We know someone's here. Keep looking. What's going on over there? <laughs> Hearing source of disturbance. Dang it. Yeah, if I can't get the crate up there anyway, then... I'm also sure that I'm as far out as I can get, so... What's going on over there? Maybe I go to one side and then toss it diagonally, I'll be able to get it up there. What's going on over there? That time I was trying to bounce it off the wall. That didn't work. Let's Okay, that looked promising. I feel like I can probably bounce it off the wall and get it onto the platform. What's going on over there? Yeah, that'll work. I just have to get the angle right. What's going on over there? Well, this video may not be as short as I thought. What's going on over there? Depends how long this takes me to mess around with. Of course, then I may find that I actually can stack things and get back into the vent. What's going on over there? Ah, so close. So close and yet so far. As they say. What's going on over there? Missed it. I'm sorry, I'm sure this is irritating. I just really want to do What's going on over there? everything I possibly can. Anyone who's been with me since my Thief Gold playthrough should know this about me by now. What's going on over there? Maybe I'm going about the bounce the wrong way. What's going on over there? Oh, that was so close. Well, if the momentum had just been the other direction, or if it had been a tidge farther in. What's going on over there? Too much. What's going on over there? Uh, I need to be more patient. I need to focus. I'm excited to get out tonight because, gentlemen, and as an aside, I do believe most of you probably are gentlemen. I, uh, I've looked at my demographics on viewership, and it's about 90% men, 10% women, so, you know. What's going on over there? I wonder if I can reach it from there. So, hello to... 
Hello to the 10% who are female and the 90% who are male, but point being, most of you are men. The demographics confirm that. Bam, we got it. Perfect. My wife is out of town tonight. And I love my wife and I miss her, but the fact that she is out of town affords me an opportunity to go out and become intoxicated, which is an opportunity I usually don't have because she's not a fan of the fire water. Boom, got up there. 300 point exploration bonus. So you can get up there with just the crate that's in the elevator shaft. That's awesome. Anyway, there is the Praxis kit. So since I believe in completion, maximum XP and whatnot, this is what we'll take. So I have to take those three gentlemen down again, but that's not really a problem. We've heard this conversation already. We'll let them finish talking. The idea there was to only pull the back guy, and we managed it, which is good. Down. Damn, too close. Anyway, we'll pull these three. Well, shoot. I mean, I gotta get him while he's close. That just means I have to time my exit right, I guess. There we go. Perfect. Down he goes. Combat rifle, Cyber Boost Pro Energy Bar. All of that is familiar. Well, this video isn't as short as I thought it'd be. That's good. Anyway, now the only thing left to do is drop these two guys, and I'm going to end the video at the security checkpoint back to the detention camp. Got to wait for my energy cell to recharge, of course. Anyway, like I was talking about, for those of you gentlemen, doubtless some of you are married, who will understand what I'm saying, some of you are single, you just don't get many opportunities to be retarded after you get married. And... I heard that. Come out. Getting stupidly drunk with your bros I is not have a confirmation yet. pretty awesome. So... Even though I miss my wife and I'm sad she's gone, I am excited for the opportunity to get stupidly drunk with my guys. That's all. Oh, damn. Well, that didn't work, right? Not at all. I think the problem was that even though there was no remark to that effect, the body is visible. And actually, I'm pretty glad I had time to move it out of sight, because that could have been touchy. Combat rifle painkillers. Pull this gent over. 
same as his buddy. You'd think they noticed that their buddies didn't come back. I wish, I so desperately wish that IDOS Montreal would release something about Thief 4. A trailer, anything. I have very high hopes for Thief 4 after playing this game, but I want to see something. I say that just because I think that Thief 4, particularly, I suspect they're developing Thief 4 for the next gen consoles, which is why their NDAs are so strict and no info has come out yet, but as far as Thief 4 itself, my main hope is that they really up the ante in terms of AI. I would be happy if they used this graphics engine. I don't need it. I don't need my games any prettier than this, but I want realistic reactions to sound and light and missing dudes and everything, and I want them to have memories. I want Thief 4 to be so much harder than the first three, just because the AIs are smarter. I'm getting carried away. Let's drop the third guy. Down he goes. Don't need his pistol bullets. Anyway, there's no one else in the interrogation wing. Let's check on Nina Sullivan. She's gone. I don't know what happened to her. Anyway, let's just roll up here and get to the checkpoint that goes back to the detention camp. Gas dispersal imminent. This is not a drill. All detention silos will be decontaminated. Interesting. Anyway, I'm glad we managed to get to the top of the shaft, so there's my real save. I made a new quick save. This has been Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution The Missing Link. We made it through the interrogation wing, we got all of the available XP. Next time we will move back through the detention camp and we will face what seems like a very difficult binary choice, but I have done enough prep work that we can escape that choice. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time, and ladies too, all 10% of you. Thanks for watching, bye bye.